हेलो फिजियोस आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू आर चैनल फिजियो विद्यापीठ वी आर बैक विद अवर नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन पल्स शॉर्ट वेव डायथर्मी इन अवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव फिनिश द शॉर्ट वेव डायथर्मी एंड पल्स शॉर्ट वेव डायथर्मी इज आल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू अंडरस्टैंड माय नेम इज विजय कुमार एंड लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज दैट व्हाट वाज द नीड ऑफ पल्स शॉर्ट वेव डायथर्मी the reason behind that was that after the discovery of short wave diathermy many studies were conducted in which they used pulsed short wave diathermy and they found that in acute condition this was proving to be more beneficial than the than the short wave diathermy that is the short wave diathermy that is continuous form was more used in the chronic condition but for acute PSWD is used. Why? Because it give it give interruption in the in the uh, we can say emission of short wave diathermy, which further reduce the thermal effect. And you know very well that in acute condition we need non thermal effect. So it was having a good non thermal effect. So proved to be more beneficial than continuous short wave diathermy in the acute condition. Okay. it is also called a non thermal swd it is used to control pain edema and promote wound nerve and fracture healing okay i will explain you further it has same frequency but delivered in the form of train of pulse so this was the continuous swd but this one is pulsed swd why because it do not have it do not have continuous production it is having this rest period okay this rest period now parameters pulse frequency is 15 to 800 hertz pulse duration is 25 to 400 micro second please just focus for 2 to 3 minutes rest all is very easy pulse frequency is this pulse duration is this now we have some small calculation if Pulse duration is 400 microsecond. Let us say I choose pulse duration as 400 microsecond. Okay, 400 microsecond. I will write here. 400 microsecond means 10 to the power minus 6. So I can write it as 0.4 into 10 to the power minus 3, which will become 0.4 millisecond. that is i have written here clear i said pulse duration is this and let us say i am taking this one 400 and i can write 400 microsecond as 400 microsecond as 0.4 millisecond that is basic mathematics now if the pulse frequency is 600 hertz i am it was 15 to 800 let us say i am taking 600 hertz which means which means in 1 second in 1 second 600 waves are coming and i can write 1 second as 1000 millisecond upon 600 hertz that is what i have written here which will become 1.7 millisecond so what did i say i say i said that pulse duration is this and i have written it like this pulse frequency was 600 and i divided it by uh, and i divided 1000 millisecond by 600 why because 600 hertz means in 1 second 600 waves are coming in 1 second 600 waves are coming so now i am calculating the time of one wave so we need to divide 1 By 600, and I can also write one as 1000 millisecond. Yes, I can write. So the answer was 1.7. Now another thing, mean power output. Okay, that I have written here. It is equal to pulse duration upon pulse frequency. This you need to keep in mind. Mean power output is PD upon PF. That is pulse duration upon pulse frequency. Pulse duration 0.4. Pulse frequency 1.7 millisecond. Okay, so which means one wave is coming or going in 1.7 millisecond, very fast. And 
एंड आई वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट मीन पावर आउटपुट इन परसेंटेज सो आई मल्टीप्लाइड इट बाई वन हंड्रेड एंड आंसर कैम टू बी ट्वेंटी थ्री पॉइंट फिफ्टी टू परसेंटेज सो द मीन पावर आउटपुट इज दिस नाउ लेट से आई वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट मीन पावर आउटपुट एट हंड्रेड वॉट सो वट आई नीड टू डू आई नीड टू मल्टीप्लाई इट बाई हंड्रेड बट बिफोर मल्टीप्लाइंग इट बाई हंड्रेड आई नीड टू कन्वर्ट दिस परसेंटेज एंड यू नो वेरी वेल टू कन्वर्ट परसेंटेज वी नीड टू डिवाइड इट बाई हंड्रेड सो आई डिवाइड इट बाई वन बाय हंड्रेड एंड मल्टीप्लाई बाय हंड्रेड सो विच वॉज कट डाउन एंड आंसर अगेन केम टू बी ट्वेंटी थ्री पॉइंट फिफ्टी टू वॉट सो दिस वॉज ए मीन पावर आउटपुट वंस अगेन आई सेट ड्यूरेशन इज दिस फ्रीक्वेंसी इज दिस आई यूज दिस पर्टिकुलर ड्यूरेशन फोर हंड्रेड I can write 400 microsecond as 400 into 10 to the power minus 6, and I can take the decimal to the front. That is 0.4 into 10 to the power minus 3. That is 0.4 millisecond. Done. Next frequency was 600, which means in one second 600 waves are passing. One second 600 waves are passing. Now what is the time of one wave? I will divide one by 600. But our things are in millisecond, so I will write one as one thousand millisecond, and answer came to be one point seven. Then we know MPO is equal to PD upon PF, and we multiply it by hundred to get answer in percentage. Then to find the value at hundred watt, hundred watt we multiply it by hundred and divide it by hundred. Why to uh, we can say cut the percentage value? Okay, so answer was this. This will be used in dose. I will explain you further. Now, therapeutic mechanism. How that? How this particular uh, pulse SWD is showing the therapeutic effect? This word stir. S T I double R. Okay. It stir the ion molecule and membrane. So it have a stirring action of the ion and molecule, which also put some stress on membrane. and you know whenever there is stress on the cell membrane it increase the cellular activity increase phagocytic activity increase metabolism increase the increase the incoming of various ion and definitely help in healing so this was the whole therapeutic mechanism and this therapeutic effect occur in accordance to arndt schulz law okay this was also discussed previously let me know in the comment section in which modality this law was obeyed earlier now you need to understand that this is the resting state that up to in arndt schulz law we have this graph okay this is the axis which have quality of stimulus this is the axis which is having either beneficial or non beneficial if the intensity is small it is having resting state that is no benefit If the intensity applied is high, intensity applied is moderate. Okay, it will give maximum benefit. But if we further increase the intensity, it will have inhibitory or damaging effect. Okay, so this you need to understand. So optimum effect occur in this particular, this particular intensity that is moderate. Why? Because at small there is no effect. When we are moving upward, it is beneficial. Downward, it is not beneficial. At small, there is no deflection, which means no effect. At moderate, you see graph is going upward, which means it is giving a maximum benefit. But if further stimulation is increased, graph move downward. That is inhibitory or damaging effect. Okay, so this is the explanation. Next is physiological effect, thermal effect. As the name S W D. Okay, this I will not explain you now. I have explained the thermal effects in in S W D. You will have a question that why pulse S W D give thermal effect? It will give at high intensity. Okay, high intensity. Then non-thermal effect: increased microvascular perfusion and altered cell membrane function and activity. That is again the same thing that it will put some stress on cell membrane, increase the activity, increase phagocytosis. Okay, further help in ion transport, which will have a beneficial effect. Next is indication, all the acute condition. Okay, acute soft tissue injury, control of edema, pain, wound healing, nerve healing, bone healing, and extensibility of 
soft tissue but some of these indications we can say are research based okay so uh, let us not go in that deep okay you need to just understand that the, these particular indications are important okay next is contraindication contraindication is same as swd except open wound moist uh, moist dressing and uh, metal in tissue why because these were due to heating effect and this do not have heating effect pulse as wd do not cause burn okay and last is dosage dosage is very important you can select pulse frequency you can select pulse duration and mean power output should be less than or equal to 1000 watt okay and more is the acute condition lesser is the mean power output and timing timing is like 20 minutes some research says okay even some research say greater than 20 minutes okay so there is we can say not a complete evidence of the dosage as well as the indication so there is some sort of controversy regarding that so we are we can say completing uh, the short pulse short wave diathermy here only okay so as much the knowledge was given in different books i summed up and give you the best explanation as i could give okay you need to just focus that why there was need of pulse short wave diathermy for acute condition it was proving more beneficial than continuous one then production it is having same production but it is having one circuit extra timing circuit definitely it will stop the production again start stop the production again start to give a wave like this then therapeutic effect or therapeutic mechanism i have explained then physiological effect indication contraindication and dosage so this was whole about the pulse short wave diathermy and we are completing it here in our next lecture we will move toward the microwave diathermy which is again an important and we can say little bit understanding topic and we will study it as soon as possible till that you keep on studying thank you to one and all